Pro Kitchen version 8.0 video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the new projects in Pro Kitchen 8.0. So to get started with, let's dive right in here and we updated isometric countertops. So let's take a look at our new images for our isometric countertops. As you can see, our lines are crisp and sharp. I've added a bevel edge on this one and just a square edge on this one so you can kind of see the difference as it shows up. We've also improved the doors and uh, the glass in isometric along with some of our appliances and our plumbing fixtures which we'll take a look at in just a moment. Now let's take a look at the uh, new plumbing fixtures in uh, isometric. We've also changed the way we can set plumbing fixtures. Let me adjust my screen just a little bit here. We want to go to, you'll notice in the isometric I did not have any plumbing fixtures on here. So we want to right click on it. We want to go to our attributes. And in our attributes page, we have a new tab. And in our new tab, we've added sinks and faucets. So to place a sink, we can just simply come down to our sink two basin sinks. Let's grab a nice stainless sink like this guy right here. We can adjust the size, whoops, we can adjust the size here if necessary, and I do because I want this guy to be a, fit in a 36 inch cabinet. And add. And the same thing for our faucet. We just grab one, grab a nice one here. And again, you can adjust the size of that guy and click add. And now let's click OK and return to our layout. And here you see they're added to our layout. Now let's build a, a, an isometric and see what we have. So they rotate around here. You can see our sinks and faucets. They show a little bit better, especially if the hood's not in the way. They show a little bit better than they used to. And they're nice and crisp and clear. So a large improvement over the old sinks and faucets that we had. Now we've also changed the spec book a little bit in here. So if you're in here placing a cabinet, and we're just going to grab one out real quick. And we want to show our spec book. And it takes it a second. But when it opens, it opens up in PDF format. So this is the whole entire spec book in PDF for Waypoint. You can Control F and go to your find and you can enter something in there and find cabinets. You can find specific pages. But the really cool thing is you don't have to close the spec book between uses anymore. You can simply minimize it or move it to a, a different screen, a second screen, and you can come back and you can keep working right in Pro Kitchen here with that spec book open, which makes things just a little bit faster and easier when it comes to designing and needing something from the spec book. We have also um, fixed the bill of materials a little bit here. We can now reorder things in clockwork motion. So we can come down here and click on this and it will realign everything in here in our SKU in a clockwork order. And if we come over here to our display settings, and we enter our display settings and display label with bill of material number on it. We turn this on. Go to OK. Now they're all numbered in order down here on our layout as well. So you can see order number item number one is our butt even though when I place the cabinets I started in my corner. And so before we reordered this, this cabinet in the corner would have been number one. But this makes it nice and easy. Everything's in order all the way around your kitchen. So you can easily locate an item in your catalog or in your in your kitchen design and match it to your bill of materials. This also rearranges on your order forms. So once you rearrange your bill of materials, your order forms will match that. So it makes it nice and easy, keeps all your base cabinets together, all your wall cabinets together, um, regardless of how you put them on the layout. One other feature we've added in the reports is the ability to turn off the pricing in the customer report. So if we do a customer report, come to pricing, 
do not show pricing and then click view report it will give us this report with no pricing in it and get over to the page and so you see the pricing is missing pricing is missing and totals are gone so this is handy for giving out to your customers if you want to give it to a customer without showing the pricing to them we have also updated the QuickBooks integration for QuickBooks 2015 so if you're a QuickBooks user you can continue to uh, update into or uh, to export into uh, QuickBooks 2015 we have also added the Art for Everyday catalog so that's available for all Pro Kitchen users so feel free to download and install Art for Everyday and use it if you need and last but not least we did a little bit of work on our windows so I'm just gonna grab my window here we're gonna go to the window attributes and in our attributes you'll see this looks pretty much the same we've got the general this hasn't changed our construction tab hasn't changed our special shapes have changed now you notice we've got a few extra shapes down here and we click on one if you click on one and nothing happens it means this is not available for that particular uh, window style so the round glass you need a window that's not a uh, slider it'll work with a picture window round top you see a nice round top there full arch and then elliptical which again doesn't work with this particular window so here we've got the full arch in there and the uh, or the round top and the full arch so you can use these and uh, really dress up your designs with them as we move on the grill patterns are the same the window glazing is the same um, if you want your lights to set a light from the outside and shine through the window um, set it as not glazed which is standard and then uh, it'll come through the window we can change the color of the casing on the window on the inside and the outside the hardware is still there but we've added blinds so I'm going to click the install blinds button and there's our blinds in our window and once they're there let me just stop that rotation you can move them up you can move them down and you can also set your angle they can be open they can be closed in any increment in there you can even flip them around backwards if you want to and you can choose the color of them so let's go toward closed and you can pick out a color that you like and set in there we're going to do this color this pine color uh, let's do rosewood just because it offsets from our frame color a little bit so that we can see it a little bit better in 3d and we're going to open them up not quite all the way something about like that and I'm going to click OK and we're going to come to my other window and we're going to right click on that and go to attributes and right down to our blinds and we're going to install blinds here as well get that guy rotating around so we can see where they're at and this guy the blinds are open about halfway on so we want to close them down just a little bit here set them toward close there and we've got rosewood already so I'm just going to click OK and now let's take a 3D and see what we have there's my kitchen in 3D as we rotate around here you can see our blinds they look pretty nice don't they and now let's just rotate a little more I want a little zoom and we're going to try a high def and see how it looks with high def. And let's just render that. And it just takes it a second or two here to render up for us. And here we have it in high def. So you can see the reflection on the countertop of the blinds. And of course, as you change, adjust this, the, uh, those blinds, because this one's adjusted up, so you can see the different light shining through those, which makes it kind of cool. 
And on that note, that pretty much covers all of the new features in Pro Kitchen 8.0. So enjoy all the new features and we'll get working on the uh, next batch of updates for Pro Kitchen. Thank you for using Pro Kitchen design software.